Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 909, snakes and ladder. So in this problem, we are given n by n integer matrix board and the cells are labeled from 1 to n squared, starting from the bottom left of the board and alternating on each row, alternating directions. So it starts from the bottom left, it keeps on increasing from left to right and on its alternate row, it keeps on increasing from right to left and so on and the result that we want is what do we need outcome is starting from label one we need to reach the uh, largest label that is n by n is uh, n by n label which is equals to 36 so from label one how can we reach 36 in the least number of moves so that is what we need to find the least number of moves where if you look here uh, we can make a one, move one to the two and then from here we reach 15 right and from 15 uh, if we make a move to 17 we will reach back to 13 and from 13 we make one move we reach 14 which leads us to 35 and from 35 we reach 36 so how many moves are there uh, well these move uh, moving to two which leads us to 15 is counted as one move from 15 we move to 17 which which leads us to 13 which is the next move so total number of moves so far is 2 from 13 we move to 14 which leads us to 35 so the move now is equals to 3 from 35 we take one more move and we reach 36 so it's total of four moves right which is our answer here now we know uh, like the moves we could make visually but now how can we solve it programmatically where there are few uh conditions given for us to make a move so let's look at this condition and how can we uh, make a move all right let me increase the font size cool so the first condition is that we choose a destination square next with with the label in the range current plus one comma minimum of current plus six comma and squared so what the what does this mean so we start from suppose we are starting from the first label which is label one and we need to move to the next label now how do we choose our next level it could be two in it could be 10 or we could directly reach to 36 by making one move right um, but uh, what is how do we do that so the next points next uh, positions can be determined by this formula so our next position would start from if we are starting from one then which is our current so if this is our current if this is our current value then our next value would range from current plus one that is equals to two that is current plus one i'll just represent it by c current plus one to minimum of current plus six comma n squared so what's current plus six which is equals to current is equals to one so that would be equals to seven and what's n squared it's six times six which is equals to 36 and the minimum of these two is equals to seven right so that would range from uh two to seven so this would be our range so this will be our for loop where we start where we start moving making our next moves now also um we need to keep in mind that when we make a move to uh square two what's happening is it's it has a ladder so we climb the ladder and we reach the uh uh, reach 15 right as it's given here in this um, area as well so this minus one value is for one label one this is for label two which leads us to 15 so our next value actually is not equals to two but now is equals to 15 here so what what would our next we when we start from one so it would be 15 comma three four five six and seven right so these would be our next values since two is leading us to 15 so that would be our next value here now 
now what we do next is um we make we choose uh the first element so we this is a queue actually we are using a queue now we pop out the first element from the queue and we make the next move from this so the next this becomes our current so far so this is our current now so what's uh, the next move that we could make that would be close to current plus one which is equals to 16 to the range of uh, current plus six comma n squared the minimum of these two values so what would be current plus 6 15 plus 6 is equals to 21 so 21 and 36 21 is least right so this would be our range and then what we do is now we push uh, the values of these values into our queue which is this queue so we pop this out and then what we have in this queue next are okay so we pop this out from our queue so this is our queue so what do we have remaining so we we make a move to 16 so 16 doesn't have a ladder or a snake next when we move make a move to 17 we are moved back to 13 so we are going to push 13 and then again 18 19 20 and 21 so this is what we will make a push and then what we do next is we again pop our value 3 and then we make next moves right now we know what we need to do we are actually you make making a bread first search why bread first search because we need to find the cert uh, the minimum number of moves right that is the certest path to reach our destination here which means bfs will give us our shortest past in the quickest time we could also use dfs but that would uh, not guarantee us um, the fastest uh, answer so that is why we are going to use bfs and while we are making moves while we are popping out values from our array we also need to uh, keep track of uh, the number of moves we are making to reach that um, cell so what are we going to do is we are going to use uh, a minimum uh, array where the array ranges from value 0 to n squared plus 1 why plus 1 because we are not going to use the index 0 since the label starts from 1 and ends at 36 so that is why we are going to use all uh, only um, indexes starting from 1 to 36 so the uh, the length would be calls to this one right 36 for um, for an array to have the index 36 uh, it should be at least of length n squared 36 plus 1 right which is 37 that is equals to n squared plus 1 so this is what we'll make um and also to um uh, we are given a board and the board has these values and it's not been labeled right uh, but we are only given that from this this point we move to the label 15 but we don't know which label is 15 so we actually need to compute that value so what are we going to do is we are going to use this formula here uh, basically uh, we need to alternate right we need to alternate so we start from this and we see we check if the difference n minus i is equals to um, if this difference is divisible uh, by 2 that is if there is no remainder uh, this the value of n here is equals to 6 right and what's this index here the row row index is equals to 5 so the remainder is equals to 1 right so if the remainder 1 uh, 1 when divided by 2 is equals to 1 then we move from left to right we increase our label from left to right if not then the alternate label would be equals to 0 right the remainder would be equals to 0 that then we will move from right to left 
so similarly uh, if this is 5 then this is obviously 4 and this is obviously 3 right and 3 means again it will have the remainder equals to 1 so we'll again move from uh, left to right so that is what we are going to do now let's try to code our solution so what do we need here we need um, we need the um, we need an array where we label our cells so we need an array to label our cells we'll name that array as cells and then we also need an array minimum distance to keep the track of the number of moves we have made so far and we need a queue as well so now let's start writing array will be of length n times n plus 1 because we need to keep all of our labels right and then starting from uh, i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus and then for let j is equals to 0 j is less than uh, less than n and also what was the condition the condition was that the remainder difference of the remainder uh, should be equals to one right if it's one then that is what we'll do so and um and minus i modulus two is equals to one then we start from left to right increase it from left to right right and j plus plus uh, okay let's uh, define our label starting from value one so in this case this value cell plus plus will be equals to i comma j else our uh, j will start from n minus 1 and will be greater than equals to 0 and this should be equals to 0 and j plus minus minus cells all right so now that we have created our cells let's create our minimum moves array it will be of length n times n plus one and we'll fill all the values with minus one and our uh, label one which is our starting label will have the number of move which is equals to zero now we will create our queue all right the queue will have the value one because that is when we start from right and now that we have everything set up uh, let's start writing our function uh, while loop so we are going to uh, pop out our current value right current is equals to dot first value from our queue and then we need to take get the next values from our cursor so the current value next value will start from current plus one and it will range from um, minimum of current plus six or uh, the n squared value and plus plus all right so actually these value and this next value both are labels of our cell now what we need to check is we also need our indices ij which is the uh, index in our board so now that we have our label we have our index uh, representing this label in our cell we check if um, the board ij 
is not equals to minus 1 then our uh, destination will change right so all right so let destination equals to next if it's not equals to minus one then destination destination will be equals to the value of the board here in this case like in this case the value is not equals to minus one right so that is when we change our destination a destination is not actually equals to two two which would which would be this case but that will be equals to the value of the board which is equals to 15 because it has a ladder all right and then now if we also need to check if its minimum move is greater than minus one if it's greater than minus one we don't need to do anything if it is equals to minus one uh, then we need to compute it because if it's greater than minus one which means that we have already reached that cell in the minimum number of moves so if it's minus one that is we are or we are moving to that cell for the first time so we need to push it to our queue and then uh, we will set the minimum moves of our destination value equals to the minimum moves from where we reach that plus one that is we reached for example um, from one we move to two which leads us to 15 so how did we reach 15 we reached 15 from one right uh, so the number of moves from to reach one is equals to zero so zero plus one leads us to 15 so that's how we uh, uh, update our minimum moves and then and then our base condition what if our current is equals to the n times n then what do we do is we return our minimum moves to reach our current position else we are going to return minus one let's try to run our code and see if everything is fine all right so something is wrong here Okay, so this is equals to cells label. Okay, minimum moves of what? Of our destination. Okay, so there's one more mistake. We always uh, label our board from the bottom left, right? Bottom left means it's the um, it's the bottom most row, which is um, starting from n minus 1 so this value will be equals to n minus 1 and will be greater than equals to 0 and so our range here should be equals to this value because it's an inclusive range here cool now let's submit our solution great so the time complexity of this solution would be uh, for this for loops takes and o of n square time complexity also here this q in this q we uh, the worst case complexity would be o of n squared because we are only looping over one cell only once right if we have visited that cell previously we are not visiting it again so the worst case condition would be o of n squared hence the total for this solution is o of n squared and the space complexity is also o of n squared